part of my ongoing strategy for you is to make sure that I give you all the tools you need to eliminate your back pain because you can live pain free. Even though you think you can't, you can. And these are the steps that you need to do daily to get your life back. So this today is about the most important breathing technique for your back pain. We call it breathing bracing. So it's part breathing and part bracing at the same time that gives you the stability you need to eliminate your back pain, to decrease all the aggravation to the disc that is causing you all the pain. Now, what we know is abnormal movement creates the instability, which then leads to the weakness that perpetuates the problem in the disc. It's five components that cause the breakdown of the disc. And when you resolve those five components, the back pain goes away. This is the cause of your back pain. Treat the cause, pain goes away. What happens over time is the disc starts to break down. As the disc starts to break down, you'll develop a tear very often in the annulus. And it's the motion to the tear that can slide front to back. So the disc can slide front to back like this that aggravates the disc. And then there's the motion of flexion and extension that can aggravate the disc. And part of our everyday life, so this is really about three different things, part of our everyday life requires sitting. And we're sitting too much, which ultimately leads to the lower cross syndrome. Lower cross syndrome, what happens is the glutes get weak and inhibited, and then the erectors get tight, and the, the abs in the front get loose. So it's a cross syndrome so the glutes get weak and then the abs get weak and when that happens when the glutes get weak and the abs get weak because we're sitting too long what it does is it creates an upward movement of the rib cage so breathing and bracing are connected and this is a technique that incorporates the breathing and the bracing and what it does is it creates the stability it prevents this motion it prevents the motion back and forth that aggravates the disc and the joints and it stabilizes the spine so there's less flexion and extension when it's not necessary because a lot of what happens is we move in ways that aren't necessary that then aggravates the disc so we call this the pneumomuscular reflex. It's the breathing and the bracing, but it's a reflex that develops as a result of the activity. So it makes it easier for you because all you have to do is the technique and you can activate the reflex. And the reflex will start to stabilize your spine. So what did we talk about? We talked about the ribs going up. And when the ribs go up, it creates an instability. So we want the ribs to come down. And the way we do this is we breathe out. And as we breathe out, I'll show you what this looks like. And to sit in a position where you're upright is how you want to do this. So you sit upright. And then what you're going to do is you're going to force the breath, breath out. And you're going, to, you're going to hold your tongue to the roof of your mouth. And you're going to create a... Uh, uh, I can do this like that. So it's a, you're gonna, it's the sound that you wanna try to make. And the, what that does is it creates a contraction, a reflex of your core, which ultimately what that does, it'll start to bring the rib cage down and it creates a compression internally inside the abdomen which is the bracing so it's breathing bracing just like that it's, you want to you want to prevent the air from coming out but you want to try to force it out so you're making that sound 
and you might spit a little bit, and that's okay. But the whole idea is by doing that, you're creating a reflex. Holds the rib cage down, creates the compression. So it's single short bursts of air. It's, it's the easiest thing you can do because once you start to do it, you'll feel the difference. Just like that. What that does is it creates the hollowing necessary and the internal forces. So when you're, when you're doing the, the breathing bracing, what you're doing is you're creating almost like a balloon internally that fills up. And then what that does is it prevents all the sloppy motion. And the sloppy motion is what perpetuates the aggravation to the disc, which perpetuates your pain. So what I would recommend is you do this as a warm up. Okay, we've talked about the bracing, hold the brace, hold the brace. But the way to start this is to warm up and maybe do 10 of these. Just do it just like that. And what you're going to do is you're going to start to feel it inside. You're going to feel it here. You're going to feel, oh, I think I feel my muscles. I feel something happening. So throughout the day, you can do that. I don't know if you're going to want to do it in public or you're going to want to do it at work, but you can find a way to get it done. The key is to wake the muscles up. Bursts, short bursts of air. That will give you the stability. It will start to wake up your muscles. It's a reflex. It happens internally. Okay, there's a lot happening here. So that's what it looks like. That's how we do it. What that's going to do is it's going to start to create more balanced motion around the disc. It's going to prevent that sensitization of the disc. It's going to decrease the sensitivity because it's not being aggravated so much. That's the goal. Just like that. Okay, there's going to be a lot of things coming out of your mouth. <laughs> so be aware of that. But that's the motion. It's I'm, As I'm holding it back and forcing it out, it causes this to contract right here. That's how you do it. Start the day with a good warm up of tss, tss, tss. You can do that at home, in your shower, you can do it wherever you want, in your car. That's it. If you're interested in our program, we have a program that walks you step by step through the process of eliminating your back pain. It addresses the cause. It addresses the cause of your back pain. You eliminate the cause, the back pain gets better. And what it is, is it's a weekly exercise program that you do. You get the videos online, you do the exercises at home, and you get better. It takes Some people take two months, three months, four months, five months, but you will get better. It's the most scientific program available. We call it the 10X Back Pain Program, and it's $47 a month. You can get better. You will get better. That's it. That's how you do it. All right.